We're back for week two of the six mark challenge for AQA GCSE Science. In the run up to the exams, each day, Monday to Saturday, I'm posting a new video with a six mark question so you can practice how to answer them. You'll find a link in the description below to all of the questions for this week and also the playlist for all of the videos. Today's question asks you to explain how human tissues are adapted to absorb molecules into the bloodstream. I'm going to remind you again that your answers need to be presented in a logical fashion, but that doesn't mean that they need to be in full sentences. It's absolutely fine to use bullet points, a numbered list or a table. And you might even want to consider writing a little plan before you start. It's also important that you make sure you answer the full question. So ideally, we're going to be thinking about more than one tissue and more than one molecule and probably more than one absorption method as well. If you haven't done so already, pause the video and give yourself six minutes to answer this six mark question. This question is pitched at about a grade four, grade five. So it's the sort of question that we would see that is common to the foundation tier and the higher tier. And I would also say that this would be a level marked question. So you're going to have three bands of marks. And in order to get up into level three and get five or six marks, it's not just enough to say six true things. You need to make sure you're covering all of the aspects of the question. So here that's probably going to be naming some features of these tissues and then talking about how that actually helps them and what it is that's being absorbed and where it's happening. I would usually recommend that you find the six mark question quite early in the exam so that you can just jot down a few ideas. And as you're answering the rest of the paper, you can have the question ticking over in the back of your head and you can keep flicking back and adding things into your plan so that by the time you're ready to write it, you've got a good structure to base this off. So the first thing that we're going to do is think about what are these tissues? So we need to talk about both the alveoli and also the villi in the small intestines. Then I need to think, well, what are the molecules that are being absorbed? That's going to be the oxygen in the lungs and then the products of digestion in the small intestines, so the glucose, the amino acids, the fatty acids and the glycerol. And then I probably also want to think, well, how are they being absorbed? Mainly by diffusion, but also some active transport. So to start my actual answer, what I'm going to do is think about what are the features of those two tissues? So firstly, they both have a large surface area. Secondly, they both have a good blood supply. Thirdly, they have thin walls. And then lastly, the villi in the small intestine have many mitochondria. So the large surface area is going to happen because the alveoli have that folded shape. They kind of look like a little cloud. And in the villi, they have these microvilli. So if you see a cell from the small intestine, they have a, a bit of a sort of Bart Simpson haircut where they've got that folded shape at the end um, to increase their surface area. The good blood supply is because they have this really extensive capillary network. So it's not just that there's one really massive blood vessel. It's that you've got lots and lots of tiny little blood vessels all supplying blood to those tissues. Both the alveoli and the villi have walls which are only one cell thick. And then just the villi are going to have lots and lots of mitochondria. And that's going to be because in the villi, active transport is going to be really important. But in the lungs, there's so much oxygen available that you're not going to be using active transport to absorb more oxygen. So then I can think about why each one of these is important. So having a large surface area is going to maximise the area where diffusion can take place. So this is where I start to get into my level three, because I'm making a link between not just what is the adaptation and where is that adaptation, but also why is it important? How does it help us to absorb the maximum number of molecules? Then for my good blood supply, that's going to be about maintaining this concentration gradient. So we know that diffusion happens where particles diffuse from a high concentration to a low concentration. So by taking away the oxygen or taking away the sugar as soon as it's absorbed, we're maintaining that gradient. Then the thin walls are going to give us a really short diffusion pathway and the many mitochondria, as we've said, are for doing active transport um, and providing the energy for that. If all you've done is to name the different features like a large surface area, a good blood supply, thin walls and many mitochondria, you're probably going to be capped at two marks with a level one answer. In order to get into level two and get three or four marks, you need to be linking this with more information. So, for instance, saying the alveoli have a large surface area because they have this very folded shape. 
And in order to get to level three and get five or six marks, you're going to need a minimum of two different features. Sometimes they will ask for three and we need a really strong link there. So not just talking about how the folded shape is what increases the surface area, but then going on to say that this is going to maximise the area where diffusion takes place. Tomorrow, we're back to chemistry paper one with one of my favourite questions about bonding. Don't forget that there is a link in the description to all of the questions for this week's videos. And also all of the videos are put together in one playlist so you can find them really easily. Thank you very much for watching and I hope that you'll be back tomorrow for day eight of the six mark challenge. If you have found this useful, then don't forget to like and subscribe for more GCC science revision videos coming soon.